Hey everybody, Emmett Ferguson here, and this video is about the melon hat. That's M-E-L-I-N, M-E-L-I-N, not M-E-L-O-N. And this is their logo. It looks like an M, and it kind of like represents a hat and all that. So, I'm not usually a person that likes to wear hats. I, I haven't, I, I think this is the only hat that I own right now. I don't even have any costume hats that are mine. Um, and I don't have like a, a caps of different sports teams or anything like that. I've never really worn hats in my entire life, but over the course of quarantine 2020, I started shaving my head a lot. And I realized that if I wanted to go on a hike or if I wanted to go outdoors, my head would like quickly like get burned and I would get sun sunburn and there would be like flaky pieces and all that of my on top of my head. So I wasn't used to that and I realized that I should probably start covering up or wearing a lot of sunscreen. Now on top of that, eventually I came across the melon hat right here. This is the melon hat, M-E-L-I-N. And one thing that caught my attention about it is the fact that it doesn't really have any super crazy brands on it. I love the fact that uh, it's, I don't wanna call it generic, but that it doesn't have any wild logos or anything like that on it. It doesn't have like a, any super obvious branding. Now, this specifically, Melon does have a couple other, um, other styles of their hats. Some of them are flat brimmed. Some of them have a big logo on the front. Uh, some of them are designed specifically for like lifeguards and things like that. They've got a bunch of different colors. But what caught my attention about this hat was the idea that uh, there was no huge obvious logo. Now, excuse my head hair, but personally, again, I've never really worn hats. So this is a, a first uh, hat for me. And it's a bit of a ex more expensive hat. I'd rather personally have like one really practical, really useful hat that's you know super high quality than a bunch of ball caps. Of course, I've never even owned many ball caps at all. And this has been a great investment so far. So they, these people that created this hat thought of just about everything you could possibly think of when it comes to hats. Now I'm pretty sure that this is a veteran owned or you know some veterans had a stake in this company, in uh, the Melon Hat Company. So that's one part of the reason why I wanted to support it and was willing to you know, go for a little bit of a more premium hat. But on top of that, they had some amazing reasons for just about every part of this hat. This hat is so practical. I mean, first of all, you know, it looks, it looks pretty, pretty decent. You know, I'm not, I'm not, I don't know how my head usually looks with like different ball caps or everything, but you know, the design is pretty good. You know, the, the, uh, the brim, whether you like a flat brim or a curved brim, it's designed pretty well. Uh, this is the medium size. So they have three major sizes, a 56 centimeter, a 58 centimeter, and a 60 centimeter. And this is the A-game Hydro. And they all have their own various uses. So of course, um, when it comes to picking a hat, right? You wanna find something that's gonna not just work for you. I mean, some people just want fashion hats. and for me personally, I wanted to use one or get a hat that I could wear out on hikes and runs. And I've had this hat for almost eight months now. I've maybe rinsed it a couple times and it has lived up to its, uh, lived up to its promises of having some antibacterial properties. I mean, I haven't scooped it and done like a bacteria test, so I can't confirm that. But you know, it has done a good job of not having that brim sweat that tends to happen. So my girlfriend wears a lot of hats and uh, she gets some a lot of brim sweat from constantly wearing them out, wearing them to do all sorts of different things all day long. And she also uh, uses uh, uh, different sprays for, for sunscreen and protection on her head. So it's constantly making the brim of her hat look very sweaty and this, for eight months of use, seven to eight months of use, I, I wear this to run, I wear this to hike, I wear this to work where I can't actually have uh, branded products or obviously branded products. So if this had a huge logo on the front, I wouldn't be able to wear it to some of the part-time work that I do. But because it doesn't, I can't. So on top of that, 
uh, it has done a great job of keeping its promise of having designing the brim so that it doesn't get that like sweat stain that goes all the way down and I've only rinsed it. I haven't used soap or anything to wash this now obviously you know the hat you can always wear it backwards or forward uh, this hat was already pre the the brim is already pre-rounded so you don't have to worry about that it's got the breathable holes on the back half of it and you know the front half obviously to help help keep the sun out um, and this is one great thing that I didn't learn didn't know initially I thought this was just a, a logo I thought this was just a melon logo but apparently this is basically for your thumb like if you're taking off your hat on and off and you, you got like dirty hands or whatever and your hands are always constantly doing different activities then if you're taking off this hat you don't have to get the, the your thumb stain on a hat you throw your thumb right there and it's very practical I saw that in a, a video or an ad later on after I've worn this hat quite a few times but you know th these these guys these ladies they thought I, I don't know who exactly the owners and the founders are but whoever they are they thought of a lot of things when it comes to the design of the hat a lot of practical reasons for all of the features of this hat a lot of great reasons and so far it has definitely lived up to its promise there's a lot of different colors uh, I, I absolutely love the colors on this there was a uh, there's a, like a brighter red one, they got a white one. Of course, they got different names for them, but they got these great gray ones, some camo ones if you're into that. And so far it has done an amazing job of not getting the sweat stains and staying fairly clean despite the amount of time that I use it. Now in terms of size, I, ha I would say that I have a pretty you know regular medium size head so this one is a medium size i mean imagine if you have much bigger hair longer hair you probably want a maybe a bigger hat to fit all the hair but uh this one's a medium size and i haven't had to change the i didn't change any of the size settings i just let this sit on and it. it's like almost virg almost perfect the only way i would tighten this is if i was on going like 50 miles per hour with my head standing up in a convertible where you know the hat could fly off but other than that if you're running if it's just a slightly windy day and you're on a big hiking trail uh, this hat will probably stay on my head now of course there's a few different sizes so you want to consider that uh, the smaller size is about an inch smaller of course 56 versus 58 centimeters and the uh, the larger one is 60 starts at 60 centimeters and of course you know you could always adjust it but the design is absolutely amazing. You can feel the quality of this hat. Again, I, I I haven't worn like typical ball caps or anything like that, so I don't have too much to compare to. But considering this was uh, one of the only hats that I own, I'm very happy with it and the price. And you know, this is definitely something that I would consider getting other colors of simply because of how great this hat does of a job to you know just keep the sun out of your face and on top of that it stays very clean you know eight months of using this hat putting it through a lot of sun putting it through a lot of sweat and hiking sweat and and you know dusty hike sweat and uh you know running sweat it does they, they designed it in a great way that you know help keeps your head cool but also doesn't get dirty too quickly and again, I haven't even really put this through a wash or anything, uh, a, a serious wash. So you can see that it's doing and holding up pretty well. Now, obviously, you know, if you're wearing this, if you're like a construction worker or something, or, you know, you're, you're playing baseball or some sort of sport, and, you know, there's dirt constantly, like, you know, coming up or whatever, you might have a different experience. But I typically just use this for hiking and running, and it's done a pretty great job still feels pretty sturdy it's maintained its color um, so many great uses and again I love the idea that the logos are, are very the logo and the branding is pretty subtle and that I can wear this to uh, the, the type of work that I do which you know requires that you don't always have huge brands and logos so with that um, I was also impressed with the interior design of this the inside design it's really fun it's interesting um, it's, it gives a great touch and I don't know what this is for specifically but on the inside they got this little pouch I don't know if you can see it 
but they got this little pouch here. Never figured out what it was for. I didn't really look it up, but the little pouch, I'm gonna guess it's for a key or something that you could just stick in your cap. Yeah, it's probably about the size, about the size of a, of a key. About the size of a key, you probably stick it in there. I mean, I don't know if it's the safest place to put your key, but I'm guessing that, you know, if the key was to fall, if the key was to fall out of there, you'd probably notice pretty quickly because it would hit your face. And then, you know, that's if it doesn't fall into the this, this part of the hat here. So awesome design, so many practical reasons for just about, no space is wasted on this hat. And, you know, definitely so many, Areas of design to talk about, especially you know this, this idea of just keeping cool during very high sweat activities. You know this isn't really a like a, like a oh my favorite sports team fashion hat that you only wear out to when you're going to the mall just to you know rep your colors or whatever at the or rep your favorite team at the mall or anything. You know, this is one of those hats that are. It has so many practical uses, and uh, you know, you, it's, it's fantastic. So, with that, this is the review of the Melon Hat. That's M-E-L-I-N, the Melon A Game Hydro Hat. They've got a few different brands or uh, different styles. Melon has a few different styles. They've got a few different uh, ones that do have big bold logos. Uh, this one specifically is for it's designed specifically for you know activities where you're gonna get very sweaty which is pretty much why I'm guessing they call it the hydro the a game hydro and all that so uh, be sure to check out this hat if you're looking for for a new cap that you know fits well looks pretty pretty good I'm pretty sure that any if I can you know pull this hat off most people can and so many great uses it's probably gonna last a very long time or at least I hope it does because I don't wear too many hats. I don't buy too, hats too many too often. So um, for the value that you're getting, totally worth it. And that is this video for the Melon A-Game Hydro hat. Thank you for watching.